Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, you guessed it, another haul video because I know you guys love those so I'm going to be doing one today. If you guys watched my last video, which was a shop with me type of video, you're gonna recognize most of the stuff in this haul, but sadly, I couldn't walk away with every single thing that I wanted because some were damaged, some didn't fit me, so you know, I I just had to let them go. So this is basically the best of the best that I found in that shopping video. I'm actually really happy with this haul because I found so many bags that look exactly like iconic designer bags and that rarely happens usually I just find one super designer looking bag and then that's it but this one I found an entire set of it so I'm super duper excited to show you guys all the stuff I got don't forget to subscribe to my channel ring the bell like and comment on this video and of course to join my giveaway in case you guys were wondering I actually didn't thoroughly clean any of these things I just lightly dusted them off because I'm super allergic to dust so my allergies will probably act up towards the end of this video, but you know what? That's okay. I just, I'm super excited to show you guys everything I got from my favorite Ukai Ukai in Tagaytay. This is the first one I got. It's also the cheapest bag I found. This one is just 10 pesos. I, I just couldn't believe that I found a 10 peso bag that actually looked pretty good. But of course it's not perfect. There are so many weird things on it but you know what i really like it i love that it looks super modern and at the same time it looks worn down i don't know there's just something i like about that mix of vintage and modern if that makes sense this one is a super basic black clutch with this gold detailing on it that's basically why i got it because this is something that i can pair with so many things it's just that basic but at the same time there's a unique factor to it because of this gold ring right here and this one is actually made out of black leather i don't know if it's real leather or not but it's basically leather all throughout but here in the front this is actually a black suede material so it's super soft and it, it just feels really good when you <laughs> rub it this is how you open it up and it has magnetized buttons I, I don't think you call them buttons but basically it's it's a magnet closure and this is oh this is the strap so it's basically a black strap with gold chains on it so this is how the inside looks like it's it's pretty basic there is a pocket right here and there is a zipper pocket right over there now this one I can imagine myself wearing it with so many different looks I can wear it with casual looks I can wear it with formal looks it's just such a versatile bag and that's basically why I I got it plus it was just 10 pesos I also got this super sparkly bag I'm just super attracted to anything shiny and it's in the shape of a diamond these types of quirky bags were actually a fad some time ago and this was actually the only design that I actually wanted to own but they were all just so expensive so I ended up not buying one for myself so when I found this one I just grabbed it I didn't even check the zipper because the zipper is actually broken <laughs> so if I, every time I try to close it it just opens up again so I have to get the zipper replaced but you know what that's okay because I just got this one for 50 pesos this one actually sells for a lot if I got it brand new but this one was just 50 pesos so I really don't mind that I have to get the zipper replaced and that's also a lesson for for me and for you guys always always check the entire bag check the zipper check check if everything works actually funnily enough this was the only bag that i didn't really check i just saw it and i was like "Ooh, diamond and then i just got it so don't do that this also has a strap so it's silver chain intertwined with black leather and this is how the inside looks like next up is this super soft furry bag i you guys know I'm super in love with fur. I'm just so attracted to it. I love it. It's just so comforting. Does that make sense? Like I just love bags that I can just touch and then I feel good. <laughs> this one is a gray furry crossbody bag and it's really small. I'm super into small bags now. I don't know why. I guess I just don't want to keep carrying so many things and super heavy bags. So 
I'm basically buying so much more small bags. So this one is pretty simple. You just open it like that. It's also a magnetized closure. And in here we also have the strap. I actually really like the strap. I noticed that straps like these are actually one of the more comfortable type of straps to wear, especially if you're gonna wear it for a really long time and if you're gonna sweat and everything. I really like this one for some reason. So this is how the inside looks like. It's just basic black and it has two pockets so there's a pocket right here and there's also a zipper pocket right there in the back oh I just noticed something about this bag if you look closely here at the center it kind of looks like a cat if you look closely that's the only time you will actually see that I got this super soft furry bag for just 100 76 pesos. It was actually originally 220 pesos and then it was on sale. Okay, I think I have to prepare you guys for this bag because it is one of my favorite finds in this entire haul. It's not the most perfect bag, but I still love it. This is it right here. This is a jelly bag that looks super similar to the iconic Chanel bag. I mean, look at that. There's even quilting and even the buckle and everything. It just super resembles Chanel's most classic bag and I love it. And it's also super small, so it's gonna be easy for me to carry. I am so happy that I found this because this is one of those bags that I've always dreamt of owning, but it's just so expensive, so I just never got to get one for myself. And this one is the closest I can get to it. and. I'm just so excited that I own something that looks like this and I really like that it's made out of jelly because it's easy to clean, I won't have a problem if anything spills on it, it's basically waterproof. Let's take a peek inside. So this is how it looks like. It's basically just two compartments, no pockets at all. And there's also this gray chain. If you guys checked out my shop with me video, there's actually a black version of this exact bag, but I didn't get it because there was a big tear like right here. So it just didn't seem worth it to me because it was basically damaged. Now this one, has damage as well so if you look here at the back there are these weird dot things i don't know where they came from but you know what i looked at it and then i thought well you know it's in the back anyway i'm not gonna wear this like this like i'll never make this the front anyway so i thought you know why not get it this one is such a classic bag in a neutral color it's in gray so this is something that i can easily wear with anything formal outfits casual outfits anything. I got this Chanel looking bag for just 176 pesos. I super can't believe it. I get to live out my Chanel dreams with this bag. Now this next bag, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to recognize because it is one of the most iconic bags of our lifetime and this is it right here. This really looks like the Hermes Birkin bag, right? I mean, it's like a miniature version of the Hermes Birkin bag and I am so excited that I found this because this is also one of the bags that I've always, always wanted to own but, you know, of course, I can't afford it. These go for thousands of dollars so this, this is the closest I can get, this is the best I can get and you know what? I am so happy I found this and I found it in a really good color too. It's in black so this is gonna be super easy to pair with anything. I can wear it with basically any outfit and it looks super cool and I really like that it's made out of black leather and it's actually a really soft leather which I like. It's a very comfortable type of leather and we also have gold detailing right here. There's even the lock so whoever made this just basically copied the Hermes Birkin bag. Funny thing about this bag, it actually doesn't open like an Hermes Birkin bag because that one would open here in the front but this one, <laughs> there's just a zipper thing here at the back so that's, that's basically how you open the bag. This is how it looks like inside. So there is brown lining and there is a pocket, a zipper pocket right here. And there's also another pocket right here. You know, the more I look at this bag, the more I notice all of the little details that just make it such a good bag. I mean, if you look at this, the zipper is gold. There's gold accents right here. And even here on the side, they even put that iconic strap over there and here, of course, the, there's more gold and even under the bag, 
there's these gold detailing I don't know I'm just I'm just a sucker for details I love it when things match when there are little accents to it I got this Hermes Burkini bag for just 200 pesos let's take a little break from all of the bags I have more to show you later on but now I'm gonna show you guys all of the clothes that I got well actually I just got pants I just got all pants for some weird reason this is the first one I got so it's basic black trousers it fits me really well it is high-waisted up here and it just you know becomes a bit thinner the lower it goes if that makes sense so this one actually I got it because I'm just super into trousers and black trousers to be exact and I really really love when it fits me perfectly and this one really did and I loved it. I really like high-waisted trousers because you can wear anything and it just instantly makes it look elegant. So that's basically why I go for high-waisted trousers. And the best part about this is I got this pair for just 10 pesos. Can you believe it? I really love it. I own a ton of trousers but I, I just can't stop adding to my collection. and this is going to be part of that collection. Next up is another pair of black trousers. I know to you guys it kind of looks the same but it's actually really different. This one is more of a loose trouser and it has these designs right here on the sides that look really unique to me but at the same time they still look like trousers that I can wear with anything. So that's basically why I got this because it looks basic but unique at the same time and it also has a harem type of like a loose fit on me but at the same time it still looks put together if that makes sense so basically this isn't super form-fitting on me but I like it because it gives me a different shape but it's also still flattering at the same time so that's basically why I got this one and this one was also 10 pesos this next one is something I wouldn't normally get but for some reason the fit of this just really got to me and I just really liked it and I don't own anything like it so that's basically why I got this pair right here so it is a pair of red trousers but the thing about this is the bottoms kind of flare out which I don't know I'm just not for that type of style so I'm gonna get these adjusted but basically this fits me it's high-waisted so my only problem is that it's flared at the bottom that's just not my style so yeah I'm gonna get this adjusted and this one was actually the most expensive piece of clothing that I got so I got this one for 140 pesos but I think it's super worth it because I don't own red pants and this one just looks really luxe like the shade of it the shade of red and the material is really good now I'm gonna show you guys more bags this is basically a bag haul with a little bit of clothes so let's go back to the bags I also picked up this backpack it's a little bit deformed looking right now because it's not very it's not a very hard material but I still think it looks pretty good so this one actually I'm super surprised that I got this because I never use backpacks but this one I just found it super cute so I just had to have it and this one super resembles you know those MCM bags so MCM is this I think it's a German brand it's this German high-end designer type of brand and they have bags that look exactly like this it's just fully studded silver and it's also really tiny so that's basically what attracted me to it because when I saw those MCM bags I told myself you know what if I were ever to use a backpack this is definitely the bag I would go for because it's just so shiny and sparkly and you you guys know you guys know that this is what I like this one's actually a small backpack so I think that's also why I was okay with getting it because it won't be super bulky and it's gonna look super cute and I also spent the most time on this because I was really checking is every stud there is there anything missing because if there was something missing it would be hard to replace this is basically how the front looks like and this is how the back looks like I really like that it is a mix of like an animal texture type of thing and then there's studs here in the front I, I don't know I just think that the combo is super cool 
so that's that's why I like this bag here in the front there is one pocket and that's that's basically it. it's just one pocket but here on the inside this actually has tons and tons of mini pockets inside which I really really like so there's a pocket right here and there's another pocket here and then this is the the main part of the bag and then there's another pocket here but inside this pocket is another zipper pocket I really really like bags that have tons of pockets because I can assign certain things to certain pockets and I'll just never lose things so that's one of the best things about this bag I got this MCM looking bag for just 320 Pesos. This next bag is actually not completely my style, but I somehow still ended up getting it because it just looked really good. I mean, if you look at the entire bag, it actually reminds me of a lunchbox. Like, if I could pick out my lunchbox, I would pick this one. It's a basic black bag with textured leather on it and gold details everywhere. It has a zipper on this side and the other side and it has these gold detail things over here and there's also a pocket here in the front and there's also one in the back and let's open it up. Let's just open one side because they basically open up to the same compartment anyway. So this is how it looks like. There is a zipper pocket here. It's the main compartment. There's another zipper pocket here that's also a divider and then there's another compartment here and this is the strap. Next up is this bag. It's actually the biggest bag that I got. It's just you know, it's a bigger size. This one is made out of leather, so if you look closely, there's actually an interesting texture to the leather, and there's also this metal detailing here right in the center, which I actually really like. And this is actually what attracted me to the bag because there's just a pop of navy blue right there in the center. I don't know, it just, it just looks unique to me, so that's basically why I went for it. These actually remind me of bags I see in Evernew or Topshop. I actually really like this rectangular type of shape that this bag has. I don't know, I don't really own anything quite like this, so you know, I just got it. So let's open it up. So this one also has a magnetized closure thing and oh, I thought this was a pocket. It, it's not a pocket. It's just it's basically just design, but this is how the inside looks like. So there's one compartment here, another compartment here, and there's a zipper pocket right there. And of course, it comes with a silver chain. I got this one for 304 pesos. We are down to the very last bag, which is also my ultimate favorite find from this entire haul. Like, I honestly can't even believe I found this because this is my dream bag. There's something about this design that I'm just so attracted to. So when I saw this there, I just, wow. I I was shocked for a few minutes and then I, I remembered to get it before someone else gets it. This is it right here. This is my dream bag that I found of all places in an ukai ukai store. Now this one, I know you guys are kind of like, oh, this kind of looks familiar. Well, this actually looks exactly like the Givenchy Antigona bag and it, it looks like the miniature version of it. I actually would have preferred a more neutral color to the bag but you know this red it it looks so good and this entire bag I mean look at that it looks so good and it's one of those things that I think I can just use every single day it's not a super small bag and it's not a super big bulky bag so it's just the perfect medium-sized bag that I can use for every day. This is how the front looks like and this is how the sides look like. I really like the extra detailing on everything and it looks really sturdy too. I mean the quality of the bag and it also has these hook thingies for a strap. It actually didn't come with a strap. Look at how big this zipper is. That That's pretty big, but I really like that it's gold and red. It's a really good combo and it looks super luxe. This is how the inside looks like. It's basically a dark brown lining and of course there's a pocket here and another pocket here and there is a zipper pocket right there. I feel like I'm still dreaming, honestly. I can't believe that I found 
this bag in an Ukay Ukay store. I mean, look at this. It looks exactly like the Givenchy Antigona bag, which is my dream bag. And I, I am currently saving up to buy the real one. I got this beautiful Givenchy Antigona-ish looking bag. My dream bag for just 304 pesos. I mean, wow. <laughs> I am so happy that I found this bag. This is my new baby and I cannot wait to start using it. I do have to clean it out first because it's really, really dusty. <laughs> that is the last of it. That is everything I found in my favorite Ukay Ukay store in Tagaytay. It's actually called the Ukay Ukay Hub. If you guys want to know more details, just check out my Shop With Me video. All of the details on the actual store, location, directions, it's just there linked in the description box. So I hope you guys can check that video out. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah!